What is congruity theory? Well, this is a model of attitude change. And it states that when a person that we like says something that we're sympathetic with, then we have congruity. That is, we're sympathetic to the person and what they say. But conversely, if someone we like says something that we don't like or don't favor, it leads to an imbalance and incongruity. And as such, our attitude begins to change. This concept is part of what is known as Hyder's Balance Theory, which basically says that when change in evaluation or attitude takes place, it always increases congruity with respect to the frame of reference. So even in our scenario, if someone we like says something that we don't like, then there's incongruity. Well, our attitude will change or adjust to create balance and thus restore congruity. So here is the parts to the theory. Generally, congruity theory is thought of as a formula. So you have three components, a source of information, that is somebody who's saying something, an object, and that's the concept or whatever you're saying, and then the perceiver, which is the person perceiving what you said. Okay, now here's normally the situation. The, the source of information makes a statement, that's the O, uh, that's either positive, which we call associative, or negative, which is dissociative. And P has an attitude towards what is said and has an attitude towards the source of the information, the speaker. Okay. Now, the only uh, variables that can vary here are the source and the perceiver. What is said doesn't vary in the scenario. Okay. So here's a visualization of this formula. And what you see is a triangle with each of the parts. You can see incongruity is where you have a positive perception of the speaker or the source of the information, but a negative perception of what is said, you have incongruity. But in the situation where you have a positive uh, perception of the speaker and of what is said, then you have congruity. So with that being said, you measure the relationship between the perceiver and the person speaking and what is said. And you measure this on a point scale. Okay, if you have a negative association, it goes negative. Okay, a negative and a positive are always going to lead to incongruity. You need positive positive to have congruity in this scenario. So why is this relevant or how does this help? Well, it helps to predict how much our attitude or the attitude of an audience may vary with respect to a source of information or the object, the concept uh, or statement being said. Okay, so basically the takeaway is this. You can deduce that if you see a source as reliable, attractive, that type of thing, and interesting, and you agree with what they say, you have congruity, there'll be no attitude change. But if any of those things are not true, then you're going to have some attitude change, and that attitude change will shift towards whether you see something as positive or negative, and thus seek to create balance again, whether it's negative, negative, or positive, positive. So this is congruity theory.